My name is Sebastian Putz. I've been with Auschem since 1988, and I am responsible for the production sector of the NCN. We are currently at the GMP facility. GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practice. The facility was built in 2001, designed particularly to produce creatine. Cyanamid has been produced at our location for more than 40 years. The second raw material is sodium sarcosinate. In the past, it was purchased from external suppliers. Today, we are making it in our facility as well. Through a particulate filter, the two liquid raw materials find their way to the reaction vessel. In the reaction vessel, the mixture is heated. It stays there for a while at a certain temperature. After the reaction took place, the cooling process begins. The resulting suspension is filled into the apparatus next door. This apparatus is a pressure filter, which is used to separate solids from liquids. To ensure the purity of the creatine, it is suspended in water for several times. As soon as the product is pressed and ready, a huge nozzle opens at the strainer. With the help of a stirring device, the product gets to the next aggregate, the dryer. The entire process is completely sealed from the environment, so that no small particles can cause any contamination. In the dryer, the product is dried under specific conditions and temperatures to reach a predetermined state. To hit this precise state, an in-process control is performed. With a sample from the dryer, the moisture level is determined in the laboratory. Once the defined level is reached, the laboratory signals to stop the drying process. After the cooling, the creatine is released into another sealed container. It functions as a buffer before the filling process takes place. At that time, the product leaves the closed production area. To ensure our customers that no contamination occurs, special standards have been formulated for this area. This includes the sluice system. Before entering the room, the employee changes his shoes, disinfects his hands, and puts on gloves and a hairnet. During the semi-automatic filling process, the creatine is filled into 25 kilogram PE bags. The ready-packed product leaves the filling room on a roller conveyor. It's the employee's job now to immediately label the package with the respective lot number. This lot number is placed on the outside of the package and ensures complete traceability, from raw materials right through the production date. How big was the lot? How was the analytic data? When was the release date? Simply everything can be tracked with this lot number. After the product is finally labeled and palletized, our Creapure is shipped all across the globe.